Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be going over the basics of how to use ticket filters. In a later video, I'll get into some of the more advanced use cases for ticket filters. Let's get started. Ticket filters allow you to specify what happens to tickets that meet a certain criteria when they are fetched into your help desk. You can set up ticket filters by going to the admin panel, manage filters. Let's go ahead and create a new filter. The execution order lets you decide the order that your filters will be processed. The lower the number, the higher the priority the filter will have. So if I set this filter to 1, and then create another filter with an order of 2, Filter 1 will be executed first, and then Filter 2 will execute. If you check the Stop Processing box, your filters will stop executing once the filter is complete. We'll leave this box unchecked. Next, we'll set our filter to active. The target channel chosen will determine which types of tickets you want this filter to apply to. You can choose to target tickets that come through a system email, web form, API call, specific system email, or you can apply the filter to every channel. For this example, let's target web forms. The rules matching criteria lets you determine how you want matches to be found. If you choose match all, the filter must meet Rule 1 and Rule 2, and so on, in order to meet the criteria. If you choose Match Any, only one rule would need to be matched in order to meet the criteria. So you can look at it as needing to match Rule 1 or Rule 2, or so on. We'll choose Match All for this example. Now we'll build the rules. There are many different options to choose from for your criteria. For this example, we'll start with a topic ID equal to 1. I'd like to note that for help topics, you'll need to get your topics ID. To do this, you can go to Admin Panel, Manage Help Topics. Click on one, and then if you look in the URL, you can see right here that this is ID 1, General Inquiry. Now let's go back to our filter and take a look at the filter actions. For this example, Let's assign these tickets to the maintenance department and then set their priority to high. Now save your changes to this filter and we can test it out. I'm going to log into my help desk as a user and create a ticket with the help topic we specified, which is general inquiry. So we'll choose it from this list. Now we can look at the ticket as an agent and we will see that the filter was applied. So we can see right here the priority is high and our department is maintenance. That wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more tutorials. Check the links in the description to find out more about OS Ticket. As always, thanks for watching.